Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching. My name is Rich Tarani. This week we're in Boston, Massachusetts, and we are taking a tour of New England and talking to the leading tech companies in the area. On our program today is Chris Kendrick. He is the Senior Director of Business Development at Grandstream. Chris, how are you? Good. Welcome to Boston, Rich. Thanks, and welcome back to the program. We, uh, we had you on uh, last year, if not more recently, where That's right. You launched a new phone for Skype, if I'm not mistaken, That's right? That's right. Last year, we talked about the 3140 being Skype-enabled, one of the first SIP um, and native Skype phones that's on the market today. And it had a dual stack in it. It has a dual stack. and has all the social networking applications. Um, uh, it has you know, just a robust uh, feature set of applications on the phone. Now, why did somebody want a phone that has Skype built into it if they can use Skype on a computer? Well, the computer, for example, is, is, you know, when you come home from work or, you know, the computer has to be booted up. This is a phone. It's always ready to go. If you need to make a phone call, you just grab a contact, just make, make that call. Um, also, when you are away from your desk, uh, there's lots of um, instant messaging that's coming through. So the phone actually will serve up all of those instant messaging so you can actually see the messages that people left behind for you so you can instantly. So Skype messages. That's right. Very cool. And you don't have to hook up a headset. And, you know, I, I call people on Skype all the time, and they're like, oh, wait, 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 i got to get a headset. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You know? <laughs> that's me. The headset, yeah. I've got to configure the microphone sometimes. That's right. And the best part, you can give that to a family member, um, a grandmother, a father, and that phone can live in their kitchen, and they, you can just contact them whenever you want. Now, because sure. of the dual yeah. stack, you can also use another... Uh, carrier. That's right. right. And uh, that's meaningful because uh, E91, Skype doesn't support E911. Right. So if you need to make an emergency call, it's always good to have a uh, means of getting out to 911. Because, if, for example, if you have a babysitter over and you have a phone sitting there, they're going to be pushing right. numbers thinking that they're actually going to get some help. Um, so the phone it can be set up to have E911. And what sorts of carriers does it work with? Um, you know, uh, Broadvox, um, um, you know, all the, the s Broadvox being one of the, the, the last carriers that um, just launched it, uh, Vitel, uh, they support it, um, you know. A number of carriers. It's a number, it like. yeah, it's, it's all your. Because it's SIP, it's really, I mean, they're That's pretty right. much, yeah. most carriers will, should support, support it, right? Yeah, it's all like, You know Vonage does, by any chance? Uh, Vonage uh the, um, we'll support the phone, but um, it's a BYOD, um, bring your own device, BYOD. So um, it, it will work on a Vonage network. Um, I don't think that it just Vonage may need has to be set up. needs to be set up, that's okay. right. And someone needs to call Vonage and let them know. Okay. Or a myriad of other service providers that are out there. Awesome. Yeah. Now, I know there's a lot going on with your company, so I'm going to give you an open form here to tell us like, sure. what are some of the other interesting things we should know about. Well, right now we have a main thrust in the area of surveillance. Um, so all of our phones uh, will work very well with a typical surveillance camera. So we just announced a cube camera uh, last week. It's, just, it's about this big. Yeah, about okay. that big. And the cube camera is meant for enterprises or residential. It has full an analytics built in. Um, it has ONIF standards so that um, if the... Uh, uh, the camera is set up and a UPS guy leaves something out in front of your house, it'll send you an email. You can go to a web browser, view in real time the person who's there, um, or it can ring your phone. So in a, a security sense, if you have our video phones, which are SIP-based uh, video phones, uh, it will call you um, mm -hmm. or a security guard and say, someone is at the front, um, mm -hmm. um, um, front door. Do you want to let them in or not? Um, so. Mm -hmm. They're, it's fully integrated. Um, it's going to be under $120. Wow. Um, yeah, and it's, um, it, it's a great little device to go for any SMB. Yeah. Wow. And we're announcing next week our um, um, 3175 um, Wi-Fi enabled 7-inch touchscreen device. Um, same as the 3140, but um, it has a 7-inch touchscreen, uh, which is meaningful because... You know, uh, the 3140 is a great phone. It's a great um, um, dual-stack phone. But it seems like everyone wants to touchscreen it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we notice that. 
Um, so we came up with this new phone, uh, mm -hmm. which we're really happy about. And it's based on Android. Um, actually, it's Linux based. It's, it's not fully yeah. Android um, right now, so you can't write apps to it. Okay. So we've closed that. But off. there are some widgets I noticed, right? That's yeah. right. The, we built most of those widgets oh, okay. based on um, Linux based applications. And there was a stock there. widget that I saw. That's what else? Right. Was it a weather? I don't weather, okay. stocks, um, uh, YouTube. All of those are um, the same widgets that are out there on the Android device. Those are major ones. So those That's are right. The ones you'd want. That's right. And it's all the social networking um, type apps also. Uh, so we're going to open that up. Uh, but right now, uh, at the beginning, we just want the phone to live very happily in the carrier networks um, and at, and in the home so that um, everything works fine. And then we're going to open up the floodgate so people can pull apps into it. And it's about double the size of a traditional Android size phone, right? That's right. Seven, That's right. It's seven, seven inch, inches. Yeah. So you can see some. You can see a bunch of stuff on there. Oh yeah, you should see some of the um, the movie trailers that are out there and. Some of the, uh, you know, I look at the CNN uh, broadcast all the time. Um, it seems like everything's going to, you know, cloud base. Right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm ready to throw away my Direct TV and Comcast and just go Google TV and uh, on demand, Hulu, Netflix. So yeah, this phone is going to fit in as a communications device, not just a phone anymore. It's really a communications device that is always on, always accessible. No, you say communications device, meaning it, it does other things as well. Like what else? Um, like phone? I said, instant messaging. Um, okay. You know, Skype. Um, um, it's video. You know, video, um, internet radio. So it's all of those. I you know what I need now um, applications. Um, and you can output to a TV. That's right. You can output to a TV, so you can have a um, your telepresence um, in your home um, or in a small business. So, you know, Cisco has those large telepresence infrastructure for, you know, high-def um, uh, conference rooms. But you can't, everyone can have one of those, right? So uh, companies that have remote offices can put in one of our phones, hook it up to a high-def TV, and be a part of and share those telepresence environments. What sorts of Skype quality do you get on the video? Oh, very good. It's, um, the Skype is... Um, uh, of course, it's high def wide band, uh, uh, wide band with codecs, uh, but we also ha have um, um, real time video. You know, 30 frames a second um, up to a um, um, one meg of video. So w the, the way the Skype does it is it's pretty cool. They can actually um, uh, look at your bandwidth and reduce the bandwidth settings. Mm -hmm. They can kill the video. They can only give you a voice. They can drop the codecs. Mm -hmm. So as your bandwidth goes up, the mm -hmm. Skype codecs kind of adapt to it, mm -hmm. which is really cool. It's one of the. Um, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, I, I would say SIP and H.264 should have the same, mm -hmm. you know, but they don't, you know. Mm -hmm. So if um, in, in an H6, uh, H.264 environment, if your bandwidth's not there, you'll start seeing some um, we say ghosting. Uh, right. You know, Absolutely. Some banding. Sure. So what's next for the company? I mean, you've got so much going on. Well, what's next for the company? Um, we are still very focused on our video phones, our Android phones, um, in, uh, our video surveillance products. Um, we're still uh, going to deliver more IP phones. Uh, some of our legacy phones, which you'll see, will start being replaced by uh, HD phones, uh, lower cost. So we have we just announced another two line phone that um, is going to be less than a hundred dollars, which is wow. groundbreaking, uh, with a very nice uh, high def LCD screen. Uh, it has all of your security mechanisms. Uh, it works. Uh, it has the XML um, uh, provisioning capabilities for like your Broadsoft, MetaSwitch, um, Epigee. Uh, environments, uh, 3CX environments. So yeah, it's just uh, we're going to pr provide a lot of gear for all of those PBXs. Great. Now the, the touchscreen Linux phone that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a price on that again? It was under. It's going to be um, um, somewhere around a, less than 120 dollars. No, the other the touchscreen one that that's got the video and the. Uh, oh, I'm the, sorry. The yeah. Linux. So yeah, it's going to be. The widgets. Yeah, it's going to be less than 320 dollars. 320. Yeah. Okay. And what was the model number on that one? I'm sorry. That's the uh, the. 
3175. 3175. Okay. Right. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Absolutely. Yeah. And thanks for being on the program, Chris. This I was awesome it. as always. It's great to be see you in Boston.